So what's going on guys, my name's Mr. Dalek JD. thank you for joining where today we're going to be talking about the Shadows of Evil Ride at Six Flags Magic Mountain in Los Angeles. Now, the news broke a few weeks ago that there was going to be a Shadows of Evil Ride at Six Flags and now it is actually there, It's if you live in the LA area you can go there and experience it for yourself, but for me who lives in the UK it's a little difficult for me to do that and I'm sure a lot of you guys as well don't exactly have the money or don't live close enough to visit it, I'm going to be showing you guys pictures of what the ride actually looks like and talk about the experience that you will be able to experience when you go there. Now I want to thank a fan of mine who sent me a bunch of pictures he took himself and uh, was kind enough to describe what the ride was like and what happens as you go on the ride and everything which I'll be of course sharing with you guys here today. Now the ride itself is a very fast and tough wooden roller coaster. If you've been to Six Flags before and you're familiar with the ride Apocalypse, it is the exact same ride. It's just now called Shadows of Evil. Now, the only elements that they've changed about this ride is the line queue itself. The entire ride is exactly the same as it always been, they just changed the name and they've added a lot to the queue which we're going to take a look at in these images now and explain what's going on. So as you walk up to the ride and begin to queue, there is two guys dressed up like they're part of the 1920s mob. Then you walk forwards and you see a sign that says Morgue City above your head. Now you can make a right turn here and there are three signs. which suggests three different places you can walk to, the Black Lace Burlesque, the Morgue City Fight Club, and Nero's Lair. Then you of course walk forwards, and there are zombies dressed up there to scare you. And the fan said that next time he goes there, he'll actually record a video of the ride, which is absolutely awesome, so look out for that on my channel. Now, as you can see, during this queuing process, there is a lot of posters around everywhere. You see tons of Shadows of Evil posters, you see a lot of kind of atmospheric details there. Then as you walk through this queue you will see the boxing ring and the lockers which of course symbolize the boxer character you can still see the boxing gloves in the middle of the ring as well as just like spurs of blood and we have some posters as well of the boxer and just the sort of generic scenario that's going on where he's having this massive fight which of course we know he cheats on and uses brass knuckles you proceed forwards and you enter the black lace burlesque which is the home of the femme fatale and inside there you'll find Nero's lair where you see there's a chair and and a, uh, a sort of target which spins around where, of course, Nero would be practicing his throwing knife trick by throwing knives on this target. And we see a lot of other really cool posters around this queue as well to do with Nero. We see quite a few different Nero ones. We all, of course, see what appears to be posters resembling different stores that we'll find in Shadows of Evil because we know now there's going to be a lot of stores in there. There's a poster here for Devilo Donuts. Every donut contains a minimum of 30 units of vitamin B1. Sinfully delicious. And we have an image of a devil on a donut, which I think is pretty pretty damn awesome. We also have a poster for tobacco where it costs five cents for what appears to be a brand called Mellow Gold. It's also a poster for Holly's Cream Cakes. So perhaps these can all be stores that we'll find in Shadows of Evil. And then as you go through Nero's lair up some stairs, you'll actually get towards the front of the ride where it says, Mortals, your journey has just begun. Good luck. And then you go onto this crazy wooden roller coaster. And I'll finish this video off by showing you a POV of what the ride looks like. Now, this isn't a POV of of, uh, the time taken when the, the ride is called Shadows of Evil. This is the Apocalypse ride. This is what it looks like anyway, regardless of when you go, it being Shadows of Evil themed or not. This is the actual roller coaster experience that you're going to have when you visit this ride. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little brief look at the Shadows of Evil ride. I've had a lot of people request me to make more videos on this, so I went ahead and used some awesome pictures that a fan sent me. So, thank you guys. If any of you guys visit it and you manage to film it as well, definitely send that in because I've seen some videos of the actual queue experience but it seemed to have been closed at the time so there was no actors around and it was very very empty and kind of didn't feel quite right and the way it was described to me by this fan it mentioned that there's actors that greet you as you go into the queue and there's real life zombies as well that are kind of jump out and scare you as you're queuing up so definitely like to see that but hope you enjoyed the video guys if you did make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 videos like this one and I'll catch you on another one very very soon.